Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tinabe. So I'm always happy whenever I'm doing that. So you guys asked for a tutorial on how I made this dress. So on my last, on my previous video, I think I'm gonna leave a link right here. Or oh here, yeah. make this dress. If that makes sense so i decided to like make a tutorial on it and it's very easy guys very easy to do if you know how to sew even though you don't know how to sew for a beginner you can also make this dress if, if you have a sewing machine it's more easier small or a medium you can use two and a half yards or two yards if you do not have two and a half yards or three yards if you want the dress to be really puffy you can use three yards it depends on how you want it to be so uh, but the waist is very important guys very very important just watch this old video so that you can understand how i made this dress and the things i used to make this dress just have fun while making it it's not stressful just have fun while making this dress you will love it and my next video i'm going to show you guys on how i style this dress in different ways yeah in different ways so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here thank you guys for joining this family and how to catch you guys my next youtube video bye so guys um i'm gonna show you guys what you actually need for the dress you need your fabric good to be using three yards three yards because i wear large if you wear size small or medium you can use two yards that's more preferable but if you say you want it you want the skirt to be really puffy you can use two and a half yards so i'm gonna be using three yards for this fabric because i want the skirt to be really puffy a matching thread zipper so this is the zipper i'm going to be using need scissors you need your injury tape um, and you need your pins because these are the fabric and these are the things I'm going to be using to make this dress. So to start off with, I'm going to cut out the long, uh, long wrap dingin. I'll show you guys what I'm actually cutting so that you guys can see it because I really do not know what it's called. But it's a very long rope, so three meters, but it's a bit long. So I'm just going to cut out maybe two meter from it um, for the rope. So I'm gonna cut out two meters so that it's long enough. So here we have, um, this is one meter. One meter is 36 if you do not know. So I'm telling you guys now, one meter is 36. So this is two meters, one, two. So I'm just gonna like, because I did not cut out this fabric right here. I didn't cut it out. So I'm gonna leave it like this, 12 inches right here. And then we have our two meter right here so it's 12 by two meter so i'm going to measure 12 inches from here to here I should measure 12 and a half inches because i'm going to use one inches to make the allowance so i'm just going to cut cut it downwards So this is the fabric I've just cut out. That's for the um, that's for the wrap. So I'm gonna cut out the other piece. I've I just laid the fabric on top of the material. That's the the first piece I cut for the, the wrap thing. I laid on top of the fabric, and then I'm just going to go ahead to pin it down so that it's easy for me to cut. And then I'm just going to cut it down. So we have the two fabric for the wrap. The inches here, because I want it to be really, really wide. That is why I made it a little bit more bigger. You can reduce it to 10 inches. It depends on how um, small or how big your boss is. So this is the um, fabric for the wrap dingin. So here is the skirt that we are going to be working with. So this skirt, I don't think I need to measure how long it, I want it to be because I think this is pretty short enough for my, my kind of body. So this is 10 to 20 inches, um, yes. 19 to 20 inches that is the length of the dress the width of the dress depends on how your waistband is going to be how your waist is so i'm going to cut out this uh, 
So this is the skirt we are working with. We have here 20 inches, 20 inches in the length and three yards. You're gonna cut out three pieces from this uh, skirt. So the first piece you're gonna cut out is the front. Um, yes. So we are gonna cut out the front, and what you need to do is just for you to just fold this in two. That's this is the long piece. We are gonna fold it in two. The length. So we are cutting one from the front and two for the back. So we have two piece already so for the back piece you just need to take one of the fabric and then you have to fold it in two and then and then you cut it in the middle two back piece two back piece the one big front then i'm going to cut out the waist and the pocket for the pockets, you're going to fold the fabric in half like this, one, two, and then you fold it again, and then you're going to fold it again like this. So we So we have four pieces of this, so this is the pocket. This is the two piece for my waist. My waist is 38 inches and this piece is about 35 inches. I'm just going to add, this is the last fabric I have. I'm going to add a little bit on it to make it a bit longer. Add it together to make it a bit longer to my size of waist. So we have all the fabric cut out. So this is the fabric that you need. So you need two pieces of the wrapped in. This is the skirt. So the skirt, you need three pieces of the skirt. You need one long one for the front and you need two short ones for the back. So we have three pieces of the skirt. So guys, I've gone ahead to do overlocking in all the fabric just to make sure that work is um, perfectly done. So guys, we have right side and right side facing each other and we have the back side. That is what we are going to be working with. So what you have to do, you have to measure three and a half inches it depends on how where you want your pockets to be anyway so i'm going to measure three and a half inches this so this is my three and a half inches and i'm going to measure the other side also three and a half inches i'm just going to like fold this like this not like really folding just a bit push on the right side like that so and then you pin You can see this is what you're going to have on the moment side to get so guys i've gone ahead to sew this part together to sew the pocket together you just have to place the fabric together like so like so then we're going to sew here like this and down Guys, I've gone ahead to sew the pockets together and this is how it's looking. This is the back side and this is the front side. This is how it's looking. The pocket's a bit bigger. So this is the pocket hole. So we are going to gather this fabric um, together. So
what we have so this is my um, waistband I got exactly my waistband it's so strange but yeah it happens sometimes so this is how the fabric is looking you're pinning the waist with the skirt I've gone ahead to pin the the waistband to the skirt. So this is what we have at the moment. I'm just going to quickly sew this and show you guys the results. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew um, the band on the fabric. See, so this is the back of the waistband. So this is the back right here, and this is the front. So this is what we have so i'm gonna set this aside and work on the the wrap so guys i've gone ahead to sew this here so this is what i did i went ahead to hem here make sure that it's properly hemmed and then i hem both sides to like so so i decided to like hem here this and here i made a stitch here just to close this part I'm gonna fold this together um, like so. Over so here we have the middle part. You can use a pin to pin it, like where the ends, where the pocket stops. So you place the. We have already determined where we want to place the wrap. So you're gonna place the both right right side together and then place it in the middle of the fabric. You can place it a little bit above the fabric. When you tie it, it looks more snatched so to determine where you want to place the rest of the fabric you have to place it um the seam of where the pocket is located at so you're just going to place it right there so yeah you have a little bit of material maybe one just to keep the fabric in place and two okay so to do the other side you have to place the, the other wrap fabric on top of first one second wrap thingy <laughs> i don't know what it's called or uh, plates there are like so and do this and do the second one maybe i do a little just a little so like so i'm going to place the get the other uh part of the waistband and then i'm going to place it on top of the wrap so and then um, use a pin to hold it down so guys i've gone ahead to put a pin on through the waistband so i'm just going to quickly sew this from here just a straight stitch from here to here and then show you guys how it's looking so this is how it's looking it's well stitched so this is how it's looking at the moment uh, yes so this is what we have at the moment so we are almost there so I'm gonna go ahead to fix up the zipper and um, so to place the zipper you have to turn the zipper like this and then you have to turn your fabric like this if that makes sense like this I'm just gonna pin that, just gonna pin that in like so. So this is how your zipper should look like. So that is where the zipper stops. I'm just gonna quickly sew this part from here to here, and then quickly come back and show you guys. I'm gonna place the other side of the zipper. Like so, I'm gonna sew it like this, then come back. Okay, so guys, so I've gone ahead to fix the zipper. This neat is this part right here. So we have two layers of the waistband. So I'm gonna take this top part, I'll fold it in like this, and then fold it and close it right here on the dress, on the skirt. Right over there. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying because. Yeah, so I'm just going to fold it 
on the skirt. I'm going to show you guys when I finish pinning this down too, so that you guys can understand what I'm actually doing. So let's just quickly. So I'm just pinning the waistband to close it properly. So that's what I'm doing. It is well done, you can see how it's looking and I found I had to close it on the waist. From here, downwards and just sew the waist downwards to the other side of the fabric and then I'm going to quickly sew the, the closing then sew it then we are done and I'm going to show you guys the finished result. <laughs>